Hey Johnny. Hey, what's up? We're going to get your truck. Yeah. So we got a lot of rigs here. Quite which few. means this is either going to be a success or a complete disaster with no in between. Let's hope for the best. Yeah. I think we got close to 10 rigs altogether. No, six, seven, eight, seven. I don't know. I can't count. I'm in the dark at least. We're on a mission. All right, we made it a ways out here into the woods. We're coming in from the desert side instead of the mountain side like last time, hoping it's a little drier. Uh, we got the Jeep unloaded. They're airing down all their tires. I got my tracks aired down, and we're gonna head out there. All right, we're all making our way out here. There's eight rigs plus my Jeep, and we've got like 20 miles to go, so. Well, and if you're wondering why we're doing this at night, because our biggest problem last time was the warm temperatures. The snow gets warm and turns into just a nightmare to drive through. So we waited a few more days until the temperatures dropped well back below freezing and then waited till nighttime where they get way below freezing to try to make the snow as hard as possible and as good as possible to drive through. Because if I wait until the snow's super cold, it'll pack down really hard and make it, especially this many rigs, and make it easier to drive right on top of. So. The best chance of success is the colder the snow gets, so that's why we're out here at night. So they're all following in each other's ruts, packing it down nice and good. I'm staying over here in the powder because it is way smoother, and I can. All right, we're about 10 miles in right now, which is halfway, and we're in a foot of snow, which well, it's kind of the reason for deciding to come in through the desert side is hoping we could get a whole lot closer to it before we got into deep snow and so far that's looking pretty good but we know there's a lot of snow once we get close to it so this is going to change quite a bit but halfway and so far so good what is your level of optimism at the moment i'm at like a 9.5 right now we're gonna continue to check in on this as the trip goes on. Good idea. Yeah. Pretty high optimism right now. I really want my truck. He'd like his truck. All right, so we reorganized and put the Jeep up front to kind of break through this crust and get it started packed down and then all the other tire rigs are coming behind. So they were starting to have a little bit of, not trouble busting through it, but it was slowing them down quite a bit to break through this hard crust on the snow. So I'm taking the lead now and they're following along. That sign said warning, narrow, windy road. And now we got the hills. We're finally going to start climbing an elevation. This is where the snow will most likely change. What does that do to your confidence level? In this thing? Nothing. What about all the rest of them? They're following you, so I think we're pretty good. What about your truck getting back out? No problem. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> These are bear tracks. They're big like bear. And it, like bears do this where they wander back and forth as they go up the road, like up over there and back over there. Huh, probably bear. Did you leave any food in your truck? Yeah. Don't worry, the bears ain't good. It's alright. There's only one can of tuna. They didn't eat tuna. Oh, it's tuna? Oh, I still got that. <laughs> So this intersection right here at this stop sign, uh, this is China Hat Road. This is where we came in to get him and then haul him back out that night. So if we made it this far to this intersection, your rig's only right down here. Coming in when the snow is frozen and hard in the middle of the night was the way to go. So now, what is your level of confidence? 100%. Well, other than the bear situation. Uh, 100% still. So you had tuna and beef jerky <laughs> in there, and there's bear tracks on the road. I think I'll be all right. We'll see, though. Yeah, I know you wanted to buy some new tires and all, but you might be buying seats instead. <laughs> I didn't realize we were that close to that intersection. My confidence level just went up, too. You should be, like, right up over down this hill. And my fuel gauge is clearly broken because it still says I have a full tank. 
but we're here in the middle of the night when it's like super cold and the snow is frozen and hard so we're sitting on top of it instead of plowing through it which is also why I'm in front with the tracks is I'm laying down a pretty good start to a packed trail that way when they come through they have something to drive on pack it down a little harder that was our whole reason for going out in the cold tonight is go out when it's cold as possible so we try to stay on top of the snow and it packs down super hard warm snow sucks so this is actually turning out pretty decent so far okay so over the next hill i thought we were closer than we were apparently we drove way down this road that night i didn't realize how far we went Okay, the next hill. And we drove way farther out this than we thought. It's this hill, right? It's sure. gotta be this hill. Sure. Jesus Christ. What a hill. This, this hill, it's gotta be this one. Is that another uphill right there? Looks like it. Okay, over that. That next hill. <laughs> I thought this was a downhill. It's just a flat that goes to an uphill. Look at there's those big tracks again. Those bear tracks. We're really close to your truck. Look, there's bears at it. <laughs> right now. Right now. We finally make it. We can't get it because there's bears. Yeah, that'd be great. That'd be awesome. Okay. This hill. This is the one. Once we, this hill. Okay, I'm almost certain this, this is your hill. Oh, it's so. Are you feeling like this is the hill? Pretty confident, pretty confident. Confidence level? <laughs> size thing. These tracks are just beelining right right down the road. Turn right here. What? That's bear dude. Those are bear tracks for sure. But they turned before they got to your truck. Whoa. You might be lucky. Might slam the truck. Yeah, you might still have your tuna and beef jerky. Oh, what's up? Oh, we made it. We made it. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you. We are here. Are you so excited right now? Oh, man. So excited. Look at it. It's still there. It's still in the condition I left it in. Right. Let's go see if it starts. This is the Central Oregon Land Cruiser Group who all got together and they're the ones who made this happen tonight and put it all together and called me and said we want to try, we want to go back out, let's make it happen. So we did and it is their credit for this all happening and everybody getting out here. So big thanks to Central Oregon Land Cruisers and everybody out here. Oh, it started! Started on its own. He's happy. Hey, it's a little deep. We made it. Now we can have fun. You can't cuss on the yeah, YouTube. Oh. I mean, you can't. Just everybody yells at me for it. Sorry. Call him an idiot again, though. I like that part. You're an idiot. <laughs> Look at this. Yeah. I love it. It's great when we're here on purpose. It's not so great when it's not on purpose. He's lucky to be alive and he's still in jeans. <laughs> he's got boots this time. That's better than the tennis shoes he was in. Oh Alright, so we're getting another five gallons put in his rig. Should be enough to get out. And then to show why we came out here at night when it was so cold is look at this hard crust. 
and how thick it is after it got so wet and warm and then refroze we've got this to kind of get on top of with the tracks and push down and make a nice path that then packs down pretty hard for everyone else to drive on as cold as it is right now and as good as this is packing and as capable of rigs as we have out here they probably would have made it on tires they didn't need the tracks but it definitely made it easier all right well, we got it running we got it full of fuel not full it's got 10 gallons in it now and uh, he was able to drive out of that spot he's in on his own i said that this cold temperature is like was key to making this happen so uh now he is gonna get up here everyone else is gonna get turned around and we're gonna start working our way back out of here There he goes, he's pumping his arm and waving. He's so happy right now. There's Severin and the other Grand Cherokee. That's a really nice one. Hey, there goes the Gladiator. I think has got 40s on it. And then one more Toyota, Tacoma. And now I'm the last one, so let's get rolling. After nine rigs drove on this, look how packed of a trail we have right here for everyone to go out on. Now it is no problem to drive on. It has been just one night shy of a week uh, since we came and pulled him out of here that his rig's been sitting out waiting and so, so we finally got it and everything is headed home. Going. How's it feel to be driving it instead of just looking at pictures of it on your phone? It's pretty nice. All right. <laughs> it's a diesel in that truck. <clears throat> Lots of cattle guards out here. Uh oh. What happened? Nothing. Oil temp light came on. Oh, uh, getting hot? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Just gonna give it a little break. Yeah, well, we've been hammering out of here pretty hard, so. Yeah, right. It could use a break. I mean, you let it sit for a week and then it was full throttle all the way out of the woods. It's true. Yeah. We're like way ahead of everybody else anyway, yeah, so. Yeah, I felt like I was mobbing pretty good. I was like, I wonder who's behind me. Of course it's you. Just me. <laughs> Going good so far, though. A whole lot better off than we were. Yeah. Johnny's race cooled down. Now let's see if he can get out of there. There goes Jeremy. That was 20 miles each way, 40 miles round trip. And we burned right at half a tank of fuel, which is 16 gallons of fuel. Uh, hour driving each way, two hours driving, 16 hours. that's eight gallons an hour this thing burns. Which, 410 of fuel, that's 32, 32, $32.80 an hour in fuel that this thing burns with the tracks on it. That's expensive. Sorry, I didn't mean to go like full rain man on you there, but I like math. Okay, got the truck warming up, so we'll pull it forward a little bit and then put this back on that trailer and go home. We made it. We made it. We're back down here on the uh, desert side down by the highway. We got his truck out. He's out. Now it's just to uh, hop on the road here and everybody head home. Everyone else is airing up their tires. Mine aired up real quick and easy. But that couldn't have gone better. It wasn't even really a recovery recovery because once we got out there, he drove out. He was able to drive right out of the hole we left him in. So made it all the way back out, no problem. So 
good night overall. Really good night, and it's thanks to all these guys, Central Oregon Land Cruisers. Yeah, but Jimmy right there. Thanks to all of them. They're the ones who made it happen. I was just kind of along for the ride on this one. So. <laughs> but overall, good night. Everything went great. That's going to be it for this one. We'll see you guys next time.